The goal of soldering is to make a good electrical connection between two conducting components that won't be disturbed by motion or contaminants. The connection is made by using heat to melt solder to join two electrical components. In this video, we will introduce the techniques and tools needed to safely produce good soldered connections. The procedure for soldering is also outlined in a standard operating procedure available near all soldering stations in the FSDE. In order to solder safely and effectively, you will need the following. A soldering station, solder, and a helping third hand. If the soldering station has a sponge for cleaning the iron tip, you will need to wet the sponge so that it is damp but not sopping wet. If the soldering station has brass bowl for cleaning the iron tip, you do not need to do anything to prepare it. To protect yourself from hazards like debris and fumes, you will also need safety glasses and a fume extractor. Before you begin soldering, put on your safety glasses and tie back any long hair or loose clothing. Prepare your components for soldering. Use the helping third hand to clip and place the components that you are going to solder together. Turn on the fume extractor system and position the inlet so that it is above and behind your workspace, making sure that it will draw the fumes away from you. In the lab, both direct exhaust fume extractors as well as bench top extractors with filters are available. Soldering fumes can cause long-term health effects, even when lead-free. Turn on the soldering station, adjusting the heat to the appropriate temperature. If you're using lead-based solder, set the soldering station to 650 degrees Fahrenheit. If you're using the more common lead-free solder, set the soldering station to 750 degrees Fahrenheit. Once the soldering iron is heated, Hold the iron in your dominant hand and use the tip to apply heat at the joint of the two components for only a couple of seconds. If you apply heat for too long, you may overheat and damage the components. With your other hand, bring the solder in to first touch the tip of the iron, then move the solder around the component so that the solder melts quickly and flows smoothly around the joint. Pull the solder away, and then pull the iron away after another second. The entire soldering process shouldn't take you much longer than 5 seconds. Remember, the component and wire will be warm to touch. After each use, you should keep the soldering iron tip clean by dragging it through brass mesh or over a slightly damp sponge. When you are finished, allow the connection and components to cool before touching them. Return the soldering iron to its holder, turn off the soldering station and the fume extractor, and clean up your workspace. Never set the hot soldering iron down on the bench or other surface directly. When you're finished, wash your hands to remove any residue from handling the solder. A good solder joint will have a smooth and shiny surface that will be slightly curved in on each side. However, if the surface of the solder joint is rough or bulging, that could indicate that the solder didn't completely fuse to the surface. If you're using a brand new iron tip, or if the tip looks a bit burnt or oxidized, you should tin it so that it will conduct heat better. To tin a tip, clean the heated soldering iron tip as usual, and then apply a small amount of solder to coat the tip of the iron. Alternatively, you can apply some lead-free tip tinner to the heated soldering iron, and use a wet sponge or brass wool to smooth the coating. Soldering tips come in different sizes and shapes for different applications. Common tip shapes you may encounter are conical or fine point, chisel or flat, and bevel or hoof. Solder also comes in different sizes and compositions. You should consult your instructor or technician for advice about the appropriate soldering tip and solder to use for your application. To remove solder from a component, remove any tape or covers from the joint. Place the hot iron on top of the joint for a few seconds and pull the component or wire out of the joint. Clean the extra solder utilizing a solder sucker. Alternatively, you may also use solder wick to remove melted solder from a joint. Soldering is used frequently in engineering, from connecting simple switches and wires to preparing complicated circuit boards. Weak or loose connections can lead to faults, short circuits, or worse. Take care when soldering and follow the safe operating procedure to solder strong connections and stay safe.